All right, let's have a very quick look at this uh, Gizu Mini uh, Dual Voltage uh, DC UPS. There we can see this specific model, 36 watts. It has two DC outputs, selectable to 5, 9 or 12 volts DC, uh, center pin positive, and uh, it's supposed to be used with your um, Wi-Fi router and or a fiber router or ONT. All right, so let's just take a quick look what you get in the box. Obviously the uh, mini UPS itself, but then you also get these uh, little uh, converter plugs. They just convert from uh, the 5.5 millimeter barrel connectors that you get on these cables down to 3.5 millimeters. And then you get two of these uh, little extension cables with uh, barrel connector to barrel connector and uh, the uh, mains cord so uh, that's for charging the uh, mini ups the little ups itself is quite straightforward got a power switch over there two outputs and a battery indicator for leds over there and then over here we have uh, the voltage indicators to indicate what voltage the outputs are set to and you set the output voltage here so 12 volts 9 volts or 5 volts and then 100 to 240 volt AC input over here. So let's turn it on and we can have a poke at the uh, voltage levels in a bit. Yeah, that's fairly straightforward. You can see it's fully charged at the moment and both outputs are set to the uh, 12 volt output. We should be able to set that to 9 volt or 5 volt. Fairly straightforward. Okay, let's do some voltage measurements and some load tests. Jeez, that is quite tight. Okay. These cables are about uh, 1.2 meter long. And they seem to be quite beefy. Okay, so I'm just going to plug this end into the socket here. And we'll hook up a multimeter there. Okay, and there we have it hooked up to the multimeter. The 12 volt output reading... 12.08 volts and let's just switch it to 9 volts there we go 9 point almost 2 volts and the 5 volt output 5.13 this is of course without any load on so I think we'll add some load and see if it maintains the output voltage all right so uh, let's just have a look over here I've got uh, the output voltage and over here, the uh, current draw, I've got this meter set to the 10 amp range on DC. So uh, let's, uh, and I've got the uh, output of this hooked up to my DC load. So let's start winding up the load and see what the output voltage does. So there we are up to 200 milliamps. Still holding stronger 12 volts. Let's go all the way to f half an amp. Yeah, it's still looking fairly good. This is after the output of that uh, 1.2 meter long uh, lead. So, uh, and I'm measuring directly on the on the output there. So let's take it up to one amp. Okay, 11.89 volts. It's still not too shabby. And let's carry on. Take it all the way up to 1.5 amps. 11.8 volts output up to two amps it's starting to struggle a little bit that's uh, almost 24 watts output at the moment from this little uh, mini ups let's go to two and a half amps yeah okay so 11.66 volts still not doing too badly looks to be stable there and let's take it all the way up to three amps there we go okay so still around 11.6 volts output at three amps Yep, so I'd say that that, that can uh, deliver the uh, the 30 watt or 35 watt odd output that it is uh, spec'd at. Right, 9 volts. There we go. And let's wind up the current again. And all the way up to 3 amps, 8.68 volts. And then let's quickly just do the 5 volt range. 
take it up to half an amp there we go still five volts take it up to one amp falling down to 4.9 volts 1.5 amps that gives an output of 4.85 volts which is just within spec store for five volts let's go up to two amps maybe a little bit on the low side there 4.7 volts at two amps and then let's just take it up to three amps yeah okay so three amps sitting around 4.60 volts so let's just have a very quick look at the manual <laughs> it's really just a little leaflet um, printed on uh, both sides just uh, displays all the uh, outputs or lets you know what the features are and on the other side it uh, gives you some uh, more detailed instructions they actually go into quite a bit of detail as to uh, what it can and cannot support and they also go into quite a bit of uh, pain to explain that you shouldn't uh, exceed the uh, maximum output power that this little device can deliver so there's the uh, specifications and uh, yeah they clearly say the three amps per output converter uh, as a maximum but uh, at no point should you exceed the uh, uh, maximum output power of uh, what is it 36 watts so uh, uh, from both uh, boost converters uh, either this one or this one uh, combined you shouldn't be uh, drawing more than 36 watts from either one so uh, but yeah they give a nice little example here uh, something that runs at 5 volts draws 2 amps uh, effectively means it's consuming 10 watts so uh, that's how you can uh, calculate the uh, power that you're drawing typically from uh, little uh, fiber routers and uh, wi-fi access points uh, you wouldn't see more than about one amp drawn so yeah that should be more than enough to power your uh, wi-fi and uh, fiber equipment during a power outage and on the back of the box not too much additional detail it tells you it has uh, four 2200 milliamp hour lithium cells in it so uh, for a total of uh, capacity of 32.56 watt hours so what do we think we'll find inside probably some uh, lithium cells of course as we've seen in the back of the box there uh, judging by its weight the cells are on this side of the device and uh, it's got the uh, the two outputs each with a selectable output voltage so uh, i suspect there will be two boost converters in here with adjustable voltage levels and then a charging circuit from the mains, vol mains voltage and on the back there you can see the uh, usual information just as we what we've seen on the back of the box battery says 14.8 volts DC so the cells are all in series hopefully they have some sort of a battery management system it's got a nice little keel here so you can wall mount it but I think the screws for this case sits underneath these little rubber feet ha yeah Now this thing's case has an almost invisible seam. It's almost impossible to see where the edges come together. Now it looks like I can, yeah, there we go, right at the edge. It's almost invisible. Ha! Ah. Now that's actually really nicely constructed. You can see here uh, light pipes used to funnel the light from the PC board down here to the outside. That's a nice bit of attention to detail. And then here, the main board. That looks to be fairly well constructed. No qualms with that. The uh, battery definitely uh, has uh, appears to have a battery management uh, circuit you can see it uh, sticking out on that side of the uh, battery pack so that looks to be okay nice thick wires coming in here and then the uh, you can see the two switches uh, two capacitors two coils so you can definitely see these are two separate boost converter circuits and then on the other side here you've got the uh, high voltage section mains input there's the uh, mains filtering cap and uh, 
coil and the uh, switching transistor, either a MOSFET or a transistor. Oh, that means filter cap is a little bit loose. That's not so great. Right in the corner there, tucked away, there's a uh, 3.15 uh, amp fuse. And right at the bottom there, you can see the code POE 36W double DC. Now the POE might just refer to uh, power over Ethernet. And as you can see, there's an unpopulated part over here, which uh, looks for all the world to be an RJ45 uh, footprint. So it's quite likely that this uh, model is also used as a POE power source. But of course, with these uh, batteries all in series, uh, these aren't boost converters, these are actually uh, buck converters. Yeah, so these, these circuits actually uh, step down the voltage from the 14.8 volts DC from the battery pack to the 5, 9 and 12 volt outputs. And these are definitely 18650 cells. You can see they the same size as the Sony battery. So you'd be able to at least replace the individual cells, strip out the uh, management board there, and uh, you'd be able to replace the batteries if these batteries uh, ever packed up. So there you have it. I'm quite happy with the construction on this little uh, mini UPS. Nothing that stands out that uh, bothers me too much. So uh, yeah, it's a neat little device. So guys, if you enjoyed that little teardown, let me know and uh, I'll keep on making these videos. Thank you.